Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so vectors. So what do we do? Let's go and check. Did we name any of the vectors? Age is named, right? Is everybody okay? We named it last week. Okay, so I can call for the names of age. And all the names will be displayed on the console. The first person is called Amma. The next person is called Hod. Kofi and so forth. Okay. So in order to do this subscripting, there are two ways we can do so. We can use the name or you can use the position. Is everybody okay? Um, what is Kofi? Kofi is the person. It, yes. So when I'm retrieving Kofi's age, I can use his name to retrieve it or I can use his position. However, so each of them has its advantages or disadvantages. Now, if I give you a vector of 10,000 people, you cannot be looking through for the position of Kofi. Is this everybody okay? So in that case, using the uh, name to search for it will be better. Is, is that everybody okay? So this, this is the sort of thing we want to do now. Yes. If you have two coffees inside, then you have a problem. <laughs> so all the coffees will be retrieved. Yeah. Okay. But it's, it's not a problem. You, it, it happens, right? We will do some of them. So let's say you... Um, even the one that I display, the Anorasia data, let me show you. Okay. So, look over here. The, uh, the Anorasia data is about patients who, who do not eat much and then they were growing late in size. So, they were treated using three methods. The first one is that we assume that we are treating you, but there's actually nothing. So we call it in statistics, you say placebo, right? Okay. So that's the control group. Okay. Then there are those who use um, cognitive behavioral treatment, so CBT. And there are those who use family treatment. So maybe in that case, your family members will come to you and say, please eat, we don't want you to die, and so forth. Is that okay? Now, so if I want to retrieve those who were treated with family treatment, then I don't have one. I have several of them. Yeah, so that, that, that's it. In practice, it, it can really help. Okay. Any question again? Okay, so I said that to subscript, so I'm still making notes. So we can use either the position or what? Or what? Name. Of the odd, let me of the of the the name of the object, okay? Because it's not always the case that it will be a human being. Is that okay? So the name of the object. So now let's see. The question is, what is Ah. If you cannot type, if you are doing A or B or the last time I saw a TA using typing.com or so, you can practice. I won't, when I'm writing like that, I won't wait for you to be typing this and, and so forth. We can't. That's why I'm recording and I'll send you this. But it doesn't mean you should stay idle. Is, is that okay? Yeah, so you try, but if you want to improve on your typing, go to typing.com. They will give you whatever, and then you don't have to look. Me, I have passed that stage, but at least I can. <laughs> I don't have that time to be learning this one. But you must type first. But as long as it's over years, using the computer over years, you get um, acquainted with it. But you are starting, so please go make sure that you should practice so that you don't look on the keyboard to type, so that you don't suffer like I used to. 
When I was doing something like this in my PhD, tell the brother, the people are doing well, then you are also, but at the end of the day, we got, um, we, yes, okay, so let's move on. What is what? The age of what? Kofi. What is the age of Kofi? Right? Okay. How do we solve this? Well, so one way is that to do this, we use the square bracket. We've seen what the parentheses are. That is used to create an object or a data type to call and so forth. But the square bracket is used to retrieve observations. Is everybody okay? Okay. So first of all, we will call the name of what the vector, which is age. Then we bring the square bracket. So we can use, we said the position. So let's use the position. The position is what? Two. So we run this. And Kofi's age is what shown on the screen. Is everybody okay? So that's one. The second one is what? The name. Remember the name is what? Is a character. So we still call the vector. And then we put the name. The, the spelling must be right. So I'm going to commit an error and then we correct it. So that you don't ask me that again. Or when you are at home. As I said in two weeks, I won't be there to help you. Okay, so let's let's commit an error and then we try and correct it. Remember, Kofi was spelled with what? Capital K. So now I'm using a small K. So let's see what will happen. What do we yes? So this shows that there's it's mainly not applicable also. NA we can use it for missing value in R. I'll talk about it data types. I'll list them and explain. We know some of them. But what this is showing you is that there's nobody in the age vector who is named Kofi. Meanwhile, there's Kofi in it. So if it's under examination pressure, you'll be, where is Kofi? And so forth. But it's because of the spelling. Is everybody okay? Good. So now let's change it. And then we get Kofi's. Now we talk about multiple objects. How do we retrieve multiple objects? Is that okay? In other ways, how can we retrieve, let's say, um, remind me to demonstrate the normal distribution and the T distribution, okay, from our three, two, two, three. Before time. Is that okay? All right, okay. We'll do it together. Okay, so when we want to retrieve multiple of it, let's say we want Kofi and was there Amma? Amma is the first one. So let's say, who is the last person? Yeah. What's the name of the last person? Yeah, okay. So then let's see. So how do we retrieve, um, let's say, in this case, what? Kofi and Ya. So we can use the same thing, but now we will use the positions in brackets, right? In parentheses as a vector. So we call H. We cannot put 2 and 5 like this. It, it won't work, right? Okay, to tell us that it is what? Incorrect number of dimensions. When you do that, it recognizes it as having two dimensions. Then we use this for matrices and data frames, but in the vector, it won't work because it has only one dimension. So what we need to do is to put this as we are creating a vector. So we need a C, right? Like this. Is everybody okay with this? Similarly, to use the names, we have to put the names in what? In a vector form like that. So we need a Kofi and what? Yeah.
Oh, no. Okay, let me ask. What is the problem here? What is the... Please look on the board. What is the problem here? I have Kofi and Ia defined. There is what? The, yes, so that's, that's the correct thing. So you see, Ia, instead of you putting the... Uh, what is the... the uh, no, this is not... Quotation so I is recognizing that space over there. So it doesn't correspond to the name of Ia. Is everybody okay? So you have to be very observant when you are programming. Other than that, you always get an error. Okay, so if I close it and I run it, I still get what I require. Okay, good. Now, what else? What if we want to obtain consecutive positions? Then that's easy. Let's say I want to get the name of Ama. The next person is what? Kofi and who? The third person. Ali. Then I can just write A. Then into the square bracket. One is to three. Is everybody okay? So let me. The, the consecutive objects. Whatever we are doing now. We're going to use it when we get to matrices. So if you don't understand this, when we get to matrices, it will compound the problem. So please, if you have any question, please ask. We are just building upon, upon, upon it. Consecutive. Is the spelling all right? It's all right. What's the... See you, I know you. Okay, good. Hey. That's what? See you, yeah. Okay, so over here. Okay, thank you. If it was spelling, that, by now I get zero. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Uh, okay, so what we mean is at age, we can write, let's say, one to four. Right? This means... Select all the people in the first, second, third, and fourth position. Remember we did this, right? When we were doing vectors. That this means one, two, three, four. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. Is everybody okay? Okay. Now, what if... I could have also obtained this by omitting the last object, which is the fifth position. So, let me say this. Ah, uh, what do I have to say? On selecting or deselecting, which one is? Which one? Deselecting an object. Okay, or object or objects. So let me put it in this one. Now, I wanted A, right? So this one is like our concept in probability where you can use complement. So if I'm working with this and I need to type more for one of them, I'll rather use the complement to, to get what I want. So instead of doing this, I could have just used negative. Negative means you are deselecting that position. You cannot deselect using the name. Because I will not understand what is negative Kofi. Is everybody okay with this? Okay. So let's run this. So this one, the fifth position is what? It's taken down. And you get what we did previously. Any question? Okay, good. So can I move on now? So I move on to two, which is matrix. In fact, I can do matrix and data frames because they are the same anyway. Yes. Yes. Then I can I'll put them in a vector. 
The first one here, vector one, is to three, then comma five. That's a good exercise to do now. Let's let let me ask you. So you want to select one, two, three, and five. How are you going to do it? Do it now. If you are not, if you don't have writing on your you want to select one, two, three, and five. Yeah. So there are two ways you can do it. Let's try all of them. Thank you. 
Okay, so the, what we did, you can call it, we said, I said selected one, two, three, and what, five. So you call, you call it, you bring your bracket, because I have more than one, I need a vector. So C, then one, two, three, you don't need to be doing, writing one, comma, two, comma, so if I give you thousand, we won't go today. Or oh, one million, then we stay till the following day. Okay. So what do we do with one to three, right? Then comma out five. Right. Okay. Now, what what is the complement of this one to achieve the same results? We just put in what? Because it's only 4 that is not there. So we just put in what? Negative 4. It means call it and omit the fourth position. Is everybody okay with this? 
Is everybody okay with this? Any problem? Any question? Whether you are writing on a paper or you have your laptop and your battery is running down or whatever, this may be a problem. If you have a problem, ask. The paper doesn't go. Okay. So when we use this, we get the same thing. Okay, good. So now matrices and data frames. Everybody pay attention over here. Okay. For a matrix, we need the position of the row and then the position of what? The column. Okay. So basically, if A is a matrix, then what we want to call object we need this. Please pay attention. So here, we have I, J. Okay, I will be the position of the uh, row of test rows. And then the J will be that of what? The column. So everything before the comma is for what? The rows. Everything after the comma is for what? Column. So if I want to call column two, sorry, row two and column four, I will do this. Okay. If I want, sorry. If I want, to let okay, I can use this one. So this has all one, two, three, four, and three, right? I can also retrieve less than this part, right? So this one, I have how many rows? The first and second row, and then I want to second to what? Fourth row. So I put, if this is, let's say, uh, math, then I'll call math one to two, right? That should be what? A vector, one to two. Then I bring my comma. What do I need here? Three to four. So I could do three, four, five. But I said I don't want to see you doing this. Okay. You must always use a, a shorter form to do this. Okay. So in, in essentially what you need to do is to say math one to two and one. Three to five. Is everybody okay? Yes. Is everybody okay with it? I can also do the same thing by using the complement, right? By deselecting. So I'll deselect all three. Is everybody okay with it? So I'll bring negative three and all. Negative one. Do you agree? Do you agree with it? Okay, good. Then please, let's go to the anorexia. Please, we said take mass. Then it should come. Yes. It should show on your screen. So let's look at anorexia data. So it's like this, right? It has a treatment, the pre weight and the post weight the, treat, the, the treatment, free weight, post weight, those are the variables. The first person was in the control group. Before the start of the program, his or her weight was 80.7. After the program, it was 80.2. So there's even a decrease in the weight. The next person, there's also a decrease. The next person, there's also a decrease. If I scroll down, you will see the opposite. Look at this one. 74, but the person increased in weight up to 86. If we come to the down control, this almost 2 kilogram increase. This one almost uh, 10 or 12 and so forth. Is everybody okay? Now, what I want you to do 
is that I want you to select, let's select the 10 to 50. Oh, I have already solved the problem. <laughs> Our time is almost up like that. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. So this will be 10 to what? Oh, now I need C, right? So 10 to what? 15. Then 20, right? And then I can leave this blank. You may also do 1 is to 3. It's up to you. So if I run this, I retrieve what? You see the 10, 11, up to 15, and then what? The 20th position. Is everybody okay? Is everybody okay with this? Good. Those are the columns. I said all. Oh. Okay, remember this. the pre-weight, what will I do? I'll call anorexia, leave the rows blank, and then the, uh, the, that is two, right? So I can use the position or the name. So two. So this will be a vector of all the rows. So these are the, the um, um, what is it? The three weeks because the second one is that. If I want to get the pre weight and the post weight, I can put two to three over the or into C, two and three, right? Yeah. So this one will be a data frame because it's made up of all two columns column two and column three, like that. I am teaching, okay? I'm teaching. Okay. Is everybody okay? So this one, if I want to also retrieve only the uh, 
weight and not include their uh, uh, treatment, then I must put two and three. So you see, it retrieves. Previously, when I left it blank, it included a one, which is the treatment. Now that I took that one out, I, I can also get the same thing by calling this event and replacing what? The two to three with what? Negative one. Is everybody okay? That, that, that's it. That, that, that's it about subscripting. Please take note of this because most of your exam, I will be doing this. So it means if you can't retrieve your data, you can't proceed. So this is the same as what is over there. Right? It's the same. The same principle. Okay. Now let me move on to list. Remember we said that list is what? It's also... A vector is one dimensional array. So all I need is one square bracket. So let's call my list. And then let's say I want you can also retrieve with the name, right? Okay. I want to obtain the third position. I do it like this, and then I I obtain it. So the third position is the matrix. Now so because it's a vector, I just need what? One. There's no comma anyway. If I put a comma, let's see what will happen. Let's see three and two. You see, we get an error. Incorrect number of four dimension because the list is just one dimension. Here, you are so you suppose that it's all two dimension and that's not the case. So you get an error. Now, what I want to add is that if I store this, let me store it and say, um, let's say list R, list.r. Okay. Now, go here and see what is the name, what is the data structure for list.r? It's what? It's also a list. Okay. But what does it contain? It's a matrix. So it's a list containing what? A matrix. Please, you have to pay attention to this. Okay. Now, if I want to actually get the matrix, then I can put another square bracket in between. Then it will retrieve what is inside the list, not at the list level. So I'm going to do list R1, and that I'm going to this. Now, look over here. What does it contain? List R1. What does it, what is it? What's the data structure? It's not numeric. The data structure is not numeric. It is what? It is observation is not a data type. It is what? It is a matrix, yes. What kind of matrix? It's numeric, yeah. Okay, so, but that's what you saw over here. Just that, yeah, and some of these things, you won't see the importance of it now until you start writing functions and so when you want to work on a data set. And, and you need to know what a data set is before you can apply a particular function to it. So that's it with the discussion on on data structures. Now, I move to data types, unless somebody has questions. So data types are what are contained in the data structure. And we've talked about all of them, except some few that I want to talk about now. So the first one, we've seen numeric, right? So we can have numeric, in some cases you have double, you can also have integer. They are virtually around the same thing. They are all numbers. Is everybody okay? We've seen that. Then two, we can get what? Character. We've seen characters as well. Is that okay? Those are the ones in quotation marks. Three, we can have logicals. So 
age. You remember age? The age of people. So I can check whether which people or I want to check those who are over 20 years. So age greater than 20. If I run this, I'm going to get logical. So false true. No, that is what we mean by logical data type. So it means the first person is less than 20 years. Less or equal to 20 years. The next person is false, false. So it will only be true if you are ages old, above or 20. If I store this as less an indicator age, then this will now be logical. So you see, in it said named or logic. So that's what we mean by logical data type. Next, um, which one do I talk about? Okay, missing data. Now, when let's say you send a questionnaire out, you ask people, what is your salary? They won't tell you. So they will omit that or no answer. But they've answered 30 questions. You throw the, the paper away, no. So you say this one is missing. So to, to describe it now, we use any. So missing data, we represent it in now as what? Any. So whenever you see any in um, a vector or whatever data that it means that particular data is missing. Any question? Five. We can fifty-five. I'm right. Okay, we can have dates. I'm just explaining this, right? Dates and time. Okay, when we when you are doing time series next semester, right? Time series and regression. So it means that the data you'll be collecting over there it will be with respect to time. Okay, in R you can store dates and time. We can even know what time is it from our sys dot time. Okay, so if we so today is nine, it is thirteen sixteen, which means my time is almost up. You have given me four minutes. We'll go to UGCS very soon. You will be begging me for time. <laughs> <laughs> You are confused. You shouldn't be. Okay, then we can talk about factors. Okay, so factors, you remember factor is actually a quantitative data. You remember in 111, we talk about qualitative data. Qualitative data are skills of measurement that are either nominal or ordinary. So we have the same between nominal and ordinary at all. There's a certain way of the use it. So to do that, we use what we call factor. So for example, if we have nominal, then there's no, it's just groupings, right? So you have qualitative data or qualitative or categorical, then you can have nominal or what? So we have to do this.
time is all right. It's 19. We have one more. <laughs> okay, so that, that's it with the. Is that okay? All right. Now. Yes. <laughs> that's why I say you don't watch. It is when you come to class and you don't understand, then you ask. There's no video. <laughs> okay, so let's see the anorexia. So let's look at the factor. STR is factor, right? That you can use that to what? To look at the uh, data set. Now, if you come over here, STR to you are saying uh, speed. This man. So the structure of this data is what? It's a data frame. <laughs> then it tells you that it is 72 observations of what? Three variables. That's what we know. Treatment, uh, pre-weight, and post-weight. Now the three, you see it's what? A factor of three levels. CDT. Um, um, what is it? Um, <laughs> And then family treatment. Okay. Now, remember that we also have a data frame. What is our data frame? So when you do a data frame, it converts all the characters into what? Into factors. Let's, the data frame we, we created today, I think DF something, let's see. Was it DF dot frame? DF dot math. Good. Let's look at the structure. Okay. So you see here, sex is still what? In character form. Okay. So in, if, if I can change it to a factor and assign it to the same data set. That, okay. How do you do that? To create a factor, you just use a function factor. So that's what we'll do. And then we end our class. Now with this, you have all the the um, you have all what it takes So let me finish I'll finish it very fast. Okay. It was this, right? Sex, right? So, factor, I'm going to rename the same thing. Factor. So, let's look at it this way. Let me just click over it. So, you look at me when you go home. You can. I'm even recording. So, you see, it changes it to what? Male, female, and so forth. How many levels? Only two. Right? Now, is there any order? There's no order, but I can also order it. If ordered is true, then it will change this. So look at the way this will be like. So this one, we are saying that maybe male is more than what? Female. Is everybody okay with this? Yeah, so that's, that's a factor. And it's a data factor. I must, I must also... Comment that in some books they would treat factors as data factors. So we can have the one that is modern and one that is old. So here, if we want to actually do our data frame well, it has to be old. Um, ordered. Then now, if I call this. Um, no, I've done this. So let me, um, I want to run this so that you see the way it will look like. You see now it says so, factor with all two levels. If I go in and I put all that is true, what will happen? I'll still get what? The factor, right, with two levels, but it will say all that dot factor. So let's see. 
So you see, sex is what? Odd dot factor. And then it's, it tells you that two levels, female is less than most male. You can actually assign which one should be greater, and so forth. So when you go, please look at factor, and then also, I think in section 2.5, if I'm not mistaken, of the references are in action. Are in action. You see what I'm doing. Please do as I'm doing. So please take your review of the section 2.5. Are in action. The first group are in action. You'll find factor for So please. Within the next two weeks, so next week you will meet here. I'll give you assignments. So now, when you go, you go to the YouTube page. This is how you're going to do your assignment. So as the assignment is to watch and practice through the video. Okay. And then to come to class to do your work. I need to. I think I can do your group. It's quite similar um, to retrieve your ID. So, first, from today, you can. There's a, a video on Baja. I think the first one is Baja. Yes. On YouTube. Okay. So, you start with Baja and Baja. There's a video named Video Guns Box Plot. So that's a sequence. There's four. Line to test. Um, what are these words? I think we have basic statistics. I have to check whether if I have not done so, I will do some video on basic statistics. So once we are done with this, we will move into hypothesis. Remember that in the 223 class, we've been talking about Z and T distribution, right? Okay. So let me just demonstrate to you. If you have a small sample size, normality may not be achieved. Okay, so let me, I'm simulating from a normal distribution. So the assumption is that it should be normal, isn't it? Good. Okay, so let me, the data is assigned R norm. My sample size is, let's say, 10. Let me simulate from the normal. Standard normal, so mean zero variance sort. SD is one. So let's see. So this is if you watch the second, the third video, what I'm doing is then already there. His data. So this is to plot a histogram. The margin is to you may see this when you and you won't see it in the video. <laughs> You see, it says that error in all plot or new margin is too large. It means that where the plot should be is here. You remember our discussion on this. But it is so small that it cannot contain what the plot that I want. So you see this error. What you just need to do is to just give it a bigger speed. Then you'll rerun your code. So let me do this. <laughs> Are you the one coming here? Oh, then please go and rest. We can't we can close now. Okay. So you see, it, can you say that this is normal? Does it signify a normal distribution? Is it yes? No, it doesn't look like a normal distribution. Okay, but let me increase it to less than 1,000. Will you say that this follows a normal distribution? Yes, so that's that's what we've been using in the three three class, and then the two two three class. 
Is everybody okay with it? Yeah, so if you have a larger sample size, it's okay to go with the normal distribution. But if it is small, it may not necessarily be normal. So I can go back here and then you see this is 10. Okay, we are going. Okay, so please note that just go there, start with pie chart. We know all the data structure, so you should be in a position to start with. So I'll put the first assignment that you will have to have it to work. But I'm going to put it on YouTube for them. So let's have a better one.